100 push-ups a day. We've all done it. Even if it was more of a, I'm gonna do 50 today, since it's only the first day, and then skip days two through 300. Um, we've all attempted it at some point, right? We all, we've all, we've all been on the path. So, is it worth it? Absolutely not. Let's take it back down memory lane, right? Your middle school, maybe early high school, right? Maybe freshman year, just random, plucking one out there, right? Uh, you just watch One Punch Man for the first time, and you're like, or maybe you watched a BuzzFeed video, you know, you watched something, something that got you invigorated. You saw the word 100 in big, big letters, and you just took a test, and you're like, okay, cool. Uh, something, something put the number 100 in your brain, you know, <laughs> and you're like, I want some bitches, right? Or maybe you're the bitch who wants to be gotten. We don't discriminate here, right? All we know is bitches are involved. Bitches are involved, in fact. And so, what do you start doing, right? Your game plan. All right, I'm gonna start doing push-ups in my room in secret, in hiding, because I don't actually wanna come out to anybody and tell them I'm trying to work to better myself. That's scary, right? <laughs> um, so, and in reality, what do you start doing? Start doing push-ups in secret in your room, and then anytime you hear somebody walking on the hallway, you immediately stop and jump up and just provide something else to do in case they try to catch you mid iro training arc, right? They try to catch you mid iro prison training arc. When in reality, if they did in fact walk in, um, all they would see is um, you uh, in a frenzy, absolutely fucking out of breath, <laughs> uh, forearm veins pulsating, right? Um, and uh, you totally have no idea what's going on, trying to come up with an answer, clearly trying to hide something. Congratulations, they don't think you were training, they now think you were jerking off. And uh, if you do 100 push-ups a day as your only form of exercise, nobody else ever will think that's what you're doing because you're never gonna look like it. Okay, and let's jump into it. Am I saying you're gonna make absolutely no progress by doing 100 push-ups a day? Absolutely not. Um, by This is because of a little concept that's called progressive overload, right? Uh, progressive overload basically just means the more your body has to do, the better it's gonna get. It's gonna get stronger if you make it where it has to get stronger. If you introduce new stimuli, it doesn't like new stimuli. It wants to maintain homeostasis. So it's like, why are you doing this? Let's build muscle, right? That's how progressive overload works. So basically, if you're really fucking weak, Doing any amount of anything is really gonna, well, make you make progress. Not a lot, some, but you'll make some progress. Not a lot, but some. However, uh, progressive overload being the reason you'll make some progress is also the reason you're gonna make none. Let's talk about this for a second. For example, so say you're doing zero push-ups today, all of a sudden, now you're doing some, right? So therefore, your body now has a reason to grow because it's like, oh, fuck, this guy's trying to kill me right now. He's trying to do this. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna make more, it's gonna make your chest stronger, it's gonna make your shoulders stronger, your triceps stronger, all your pushing muscles stronger that are involved in doing that push-up, because it doesn't want you to fucking eat face on the ground whenever you just try to do a plank, right? Yeah, it doesn't want you to fall face first on the ground. So you're going to get stronger and probably build a little bit of muscle while you're at it. Uh, it's main because you're doing this extra new stimuli. Now, um, the only problem is, is once you're able to do 100, um, it's only gonna get easier. Your push-ups only get easier. Let's just say, for example, first day, you can't really do 100 push-ups. Not many people can, uh, no problem. Not many people can do 100 push-ups. Um, not even many people who work out can do 100 push-ups, especially if they're really heavy. I don't know the last time I did a push-up. <laughs> but uh, building muscle is really fucking hard. Push-ups are only gonna get easier. Let's start off, maybe you can't get 100 push-ups. Not very many people can. So what you decide to do is you break up the push-ups in the way that'll allow you to get them throughout the day. Um, really, that's it. And then eventually, you know, you start doing more and more all at once, and eventually you are up to 100. You are up to 100 in one go. You can do 100 push-ups right up and down, right? Cool. Even though you had a no, even though you're doing the same amount of reps and stuff like that, there was a form of progression in there because we can all agree it's harder to do, you know, it's way harder to do one set of 100 push-ups than it is to do a set of 10. So you're breaking up 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, you know, all the way to 100. Um, you can do that. Anybody can really do that. As long as you can do 10 push-ups, you can do that. However, not everybody who can do 10 push-ups can do 100 push-ups, you know? But everybody who can do 100 push-ups can definitely do 10. So 
there is a form of progression in there if you are working up and therefore you will see a little bit of gains. And so what happens whenever you get to a hundred pushups, right? Well, I mean, you'll have a solid level of athleticism. You'll have a solid level of muscular endurance and you will build some muscle along, not as much as you're hoping, but you will build some along with it. You're going to think now what? Well, that's where the problem lies is that now that you're at a hundred pushups, there's nowhere for you to go. If you were dead set on doing only 100 push-ups a day, there's nowhere else for you to go. Um, and all those push-ups are just gonna get easier, thus meaning you're going to stay the same. Your body has no extra reason to grow. Okay, now let's dive into a couple of the other reasons why it's not ideal for muscle growth. So uh, for starters, um, it's not the ideal rep range. So the ideal repetition range for muscle growth and hypertrophy is gonna be around that eight to 15 range, depending on how fast and slow you're doing your reps, you know? Basically, the time under tension is usually from about, usually around 40 seconds. It's usually the ideal range for muscle growth, muscle growth and hypertrophy. Well, now here's the problem is that most people can do 15 push-ups and even more people can do eight. Uh, so you won't be in that rep range for very long. Therefore, you won't really be in the ideal muscle building range. Now, outside that range, can you still build muscle? Of course you can, but you're going to be building mainly muscular endurance, but you will still build a little bit of muscle on top of it, but not that much and I know our primary goal here is to build muscle you know so that's the first reason it's not ideal uh, the next reason is um, volume overall weekly volume we talked about how many reps per sets but how about how many sets per week now the ideal sense is now we can talk about you know sets of volume in length and pretty much a bunch of them in their own separate videos each which I will do at some point in the future but as a general kind of like consensus um, the ideal sets per week is around 10 to 20 per muscle group and well even if you're doing a set to 100 every single day that's only seven sets per week now the next uh, issue comes in the fact of what are the actual muscles worked well push-ups while they engage a lot of muscles for stabilization and everything the main movers of the movement are just going to be three real muscle groups um, and it's gonna be your triceps, your chest, and the front delt on your shoulder. Um, and so what's the problem? And uh, yeah, so that's gonna cause a little bit of muscular imbalances because, well, nothing else is getting worked. And if you haven't noticed, you have a lot more than three muscle groups. I feel like everybody's seen an anatomy chart. We know we have three more, more than three muscle groups, even if you're the most unseasoned person ever when it comes to fitness, right? <laughs> what happens if you only strengthen your shoulders, triceps, and chest? Well, this is because this is bad because they're all internal rotating muscles, right? Your chest does this, brings your elbows across your body. Your shoulder controls all this kind of action, the front deltoid specifically, and your triceps extends your arm, right? So all three of those work together to make you do a push-up. Therefore, um, what what does this look like? Well, you're internally rotated, bad posture, right? Internally rotated. So you have two types of you have two types of muscles in your rotator cuff, right? You have your internal rotators and your external rotators. Most people have really weak external rotators. Most people have really good internal rotators. This is because we spend a lot of time around a desk, right? So we spend a lot of time around a desk or just in an internally rotated position. We don't do very many things that are like this this kind of movement pattern, you know. That's why a lot of us have really bad posture. <laughs> well, what's going to happen if you strengthen the internal rotators even more? is you're just gonna end up with this, you know, fucking like Velociraptor 4chan having ass posture, right? And so um, the next question I guess is, how do we fix it? Uh, how do I make it better with working in the same time constraints? Now, obviously the most ideal way to train is gonna be at a gym. Uh, if you can get a gym, then you can get any kind of workout equipment you want. You can hit any muscle group you want. You can do the most, uh, you can, building muscle at a gym, if you have, even the slightest amount of guidance is fucking brain dead, okay? <laughs> you, it's so much easier to build muscle at a gym than it is in home, okay? It really is. However, I understand that like, you know, most people want, that a lot of people do want to work out at home for other reasons, you know? I joked around about it earlier, but trying to improve yourself in front of people is really hard, especially at first. It's much easier to do it in secret. Um, I spent a long time working out at home because I didn't want to go to a gym. I was very, like, I was very embarrassed to be part of, like, self-improvement. And so, I'm still, I'm still going to show you guys how to make progress at home. 
what are all the reasons we said push-ups the 100 push-ups day are not ideal right it works only a couple of muscle groups it is not ideal in volume not ideal in rep ranges and that's really it right <laughs> and there's no form of progression right so that's going to be all the reasons so first thing is going to be rep range how do we fix the rep range so well this is pretty easy um well, the first thing we're going to fix is muscle groups so how do we fix the muscle groups this is easy uh don't just do push-ups um don't just do push-ups incorporate incorporate exercises for all of your muscle groups uh but at least the big three at least do your chest back and legs um that would be most ideal um but i understand it's kind of hard to do all that but it definitely do your back please oh my god please do your back please <laughs> don't the counter comes calisthenics back is like back is one of the muscle groups you can build up really really well just doing bodyweight exercises please train your back that's what's going to fight off this little nerd neck posture you know this little velociraptor posture that's what's going to help fight it off um so and give you that nice that you know that baki hanma dorito action going on so um Wow, that was the shittiest lattice spread I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Make sure we're incorporating some kind of back exercise. Back calisthenic exercises include like pull-ups, inverted rows, stuff like that, right? I would say inverted rows are a great way to start that almost anybody can do at least one. So we have inverted rows, um, especially with your knees really close to you, like your feet really close in, you can do inverted rows definitely. So, and then next, you know, of course, legs, body weight, squats, perfect, right? And then we have your push-ups. Let's say we have your push-ups. So you're gonna want to do all three of these. Now that fixes the multiple muscle group challenges. Now let's do the volume issue. So instead of doing one set of a really fucking long one, how about we do maybe four sets? You know, maybe we split it up into a couple different days. You know, say the first day we have your chest. Say the first day we have, we have our push-up day, right? Then we say we have maybe our back day right here. Then maybe we save our leg day right here. We're already doing 101 thing why not just break it up right <laughs> so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it this kind of theme keep it going right maybe we're doing five sets of a push-up maybe we're doing five to ten sets of push-ups for something like that right here and then five sets of ten sets of push-ups over here so that we're still getting that 10 that we're still getting way more actual sets of push-ups putting us in that ideal range that 10 to 20 rep range you know we're gonna do the same thing with the legs in the back routine right now comes the issue of the rep range. Now the problem is, is that, I mean, the great thing is, is if you can't do 15 push-ups, then just do 15 push-ups, you're good. Um, work until you can do, you know, say you're five, to, say you work until you can do five sets of 15 reps of push-ups. If you can work up to that, then you're good. Like, you know, that's, now you're doing quite a bit, you know, um, and then if it's still hard, then it's still hard, like you're still good. So. But, however, if you can complete 15 push-ups with ease, this is where our problem presents, right? And uh, by the way, we're applying the same logic to the back here. Um, so if you can apply, if you can do 15 push up regular push-ups with ease, right? How do we get it so that it's not easy to complete 15 reps? We get a harder variation. By that I mean, maybe doing something maybe like maybe putting your feet up on an incline giving making you use more of this upper chest area makes it a lot harder it puts a lot more of your weight on your hands maybe that maybe you know you go from doing 15 solid reps of push-ups uh five sets of 15 you go to a decline push-up where your feet are up on something maybe now you can only do 14 and that's harder variation for you you work up till you can do 15 and then guess what you move on to another variation you just keep doing this until you're doing the craziest fucking push-ups anyone's ever seen. You know, you're doing those crazy things you see on Instagram where guys doing like one-handed fucking push-ups, the Baki, you know, Baki push-ups. Yeah, work until you're doing that shit for 15 reps, you know? There's so, you can take calisthenics so far, but if you're limiting it, if you're just doing this, and this will actually make you gain a lot of progress because you're training the same way somebody would in the gym would, you know? But just apply the same logic to your push-ups. Do the same thing to your back, you know? Maybe you can't do a pull-up yet, so you start off with inverted rows. Maybe you get up to the point where you can do a pull-up, and now all of a sudden pull-ups are too easy, so what do you do? You start doing fucking 
maybe or maybe you start doing inverted rows, right? You get it to the point where you can't you can't really do chin ups yet, so you get to the point where you can do a chin up, right? Now all of a sudden you're like, all right, I don't know how to make a chin up harder, so you go overhand, right? Overhand pull ups are way harder than chin ups, by the way. <laughs> uh, then you go, you can get a pull up, and all of a sudden pull ups are a little bit easier. So now you start doing these weird ass, you know, pull up and like the fucking, you know, <laughs> the the the, the, the What's it called? Like the typewriter push up? Yeah, you start doing, start doing typewriter pull ups and shit like that, right? Um, but, anyways, so that's basically the kind of concept we're gonna apply. Uh, maybe you can't, maybe you can do a bunch of bodyweight squats, you know, you get your bodyweight squats up to 15, so now all of a sudden you're like, okay, let's try and go down to Bulgarian split squats or lunges. You can do 15 of each one, then all of a sudden you're like, okay, let's move on to something crazy like a jump squat or something like that, right? You know, that's basically the concept we're applying here uh, until you know, you just are doing the most crazy shit ever for 15 reps. And that's basically what it's gonna be. Um, and so that would be the way you fix all those problems. Instead of doing 100 pushups a day, just do a calisthenics routine. It wouldn't cost that much extra time. Um, and yeah, if the extra invested time is well worth it because you will actually see results. Because let's face it, doing 100 pushups a day, while it'd be good in the beginning, after a while, you're just going to be wasting time, <laughs> um, just kind of maintaining, really. And so I would much rather see you guys all make progress. And so I would say if you are dead set on working out at home, especially at first, do this. Or maybe you become a calisthenics athlete like Austin Dunham or, you know, official Thin X, you know, Chris Harry and stuff like that. Who knows? It's cool. There are some people who train exclusively in calisthenics who are really fucking jacks, <laughs> you know? So I would say you can make it so far and it's not that hard to start. Um, and, uh, I, and I know it can be kind of hard to find out like all these different variations and stuff like that. So what I'm actually gonna do is um, I am going to be doing something for, I will be giving you guys a progression list for free. All you gotta do is go over to my Instagram at Seth the Crow, um, send me a screenshot that you're subscribed to the channel and then I will send you the list of a, of a, a list of all the progressions that you can make in order, you know, starting with push up, maybe starting even with starting even with like push ups from your knees all the way down to like doing some crazy pseudo planche bridge out push up, you know, <laughs> like I'll send you the list personally. Uh, just DM me on Instagram and uh, sending me a screenshot that you're subscribed and I will send it to you. And then uh, don't forget to share this to your friends, especially ones that, you know, we're trying to get into working out, but are really intimidated by the gym uh, because we're all just trying to build a healthy community out here. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Never forget.